Hello everyone and welcome to another AJ Cats webinar. And today's topic is how to deliver precast concrete models and drawings with Revit. We are going to identify problems for native Revit users and see how we can solve this with AJ CAD software. So first I would like to introduce myself. My name is Ruta Sankuta and I'm a structural engineer with practical experience in different construction companies. I'm also a certified Revit professional and I have recently joined AGCAD as BIM application engineer where I'm responsible for precast concrete product development and technical support. AGCAD is an authorized Autodesk developer that has a wide range of applications for Revit with useful features for complex and specific workflows. And we are part of European Digital Transformation Leader Arcans. Our main focus is on three areas, modeling, documentation and data management, which will be shown in this webinar later. And our main goal is to help clients to improve their work, and we do this through automation, eliminating unnecessary BIM tasks, which saves our clients time and money. We work side by side with our clients, and we want to help them improve, accelerate and enhance their work. Here you can find some client's testimonial that you can access on AJCAD's webpage. Our tools can be used by Revit users of many different disciplines. We have developed a wide range of BIM software including metal, wood framing, smart documentation, MEP system design, panel packer and of course precast concrete suite that I will demonstrate in this webinar. Precast Concrete is a collection of tools, and we will have a closer look to these tools once we jump to Revit. Some of the tools in this collection, such as Smart Assemblies, Smart Walls, can be bought separately. And it's very important for us to know what are your needs, goals and headaches, so we can offer tools that fit your needs most. Today we are going to run through Precast Concrete Suite tools that allows us automatically split walls, insert structural connections and reinforcement into different Revit elements. And you will see how quickly you can work with data, mark elements and finally we will be generating shop drawings. Before we switch to Revit, let's identify some problems that many Revit users face specifically those who model precast concrete elements. With native Revit tools, it's hard to model in 3D, and for accurate modeling, you would need to create additional plan or elevation views. Manual and repetitive tasks such as placing connections manually or reinforcing elements could increase the risk of mistakes. And when you have strict deadlines, you cannot afford any mistake to happen. And for that, AGCAD created tools that help you to save time in modeling and to handle changes quickly. So now let's jump to Revit. First, I would like to introduce you to our tools for BIM Doc, which can be found in the Revit ribbon. And here we can access all our tools, including Precast Concrete, which is a collection of tools. It includes wall, beam and column reinforcement, it has smart connections, smart assemblies and some others. And here in the dock you can manage our tools, for example, you can make it visible or hide from Revit ribbon, or you can update if there are any new releases. As you can see we have a multi-story building, and to make this model more detailed I would like to split walls. And I could use this a feature from a Revit menu split with gaps, but I would need to make multiple clicks which can cause inaccuracy. And native Revit abilities are very limited and there are no options to split walls by numbers or by maximum spacing. I want to introduce you to our tool called Smart Walls. And in split wall menu, we have a list of options for how walls can be split. Now I will select all exterior walls and I will split horizontally by levels. And within a couple of moments you will see how easy it is. 
Horizontally walls can be split by levels, by reference planes, or by predefined size. Now I will select all walls and I will split selected from openings. So quickly you will see that walls are split and we have gaps between them which can be set different for each wall type. And vertically walls can be split by grids, by reference planes, maximum spacing and there are more options to automate this process. And you just need to set rules according to your needs. So with a few clicks we have hundreds of split walls. And with this workflow we skip long wall split processes and relevant risks and we are capable of efficiently solving different splitting situations. So at this point walls must be connected and all sorts of details must be added to help recast concrete walls together. Let's go to another view where we have a closer look to the walls. If I would like to place connections manually, it wouldn't be possible to place these details accurately in 3D. So for that I would need to create additional plan or elevation views. Our precast concrete collection includes a plugin called Smart Connections which instantly adds families according to your predefined rules. Now I will select all walls and I will insert connections using configuration for sandwich walls. Smart connections can be used for all system families and generic line based families. Manually adding connections for each wall panel takes days especially if you work with huge projects, and when changes come, which is very common in design process, you have to monitor it all, and this is the time when mistakes could happen. So as you see, these sandwich walls are now connected. We have cuts on top for slab support, we have PVL connections between these walls, and we have top and bottom connections. What if I want to make some changes in this wall? For example, I want to change the spacing between these connections. I just pick a connection. I change spacing for top and bottom connections. I save it in configuration and modify elements. And since I saved changes in configuration, I can also update these walls. So, there are also settings that allow you to place families by surrounding elements. Let's go to another view. Here we have solid bearing walls and it's a different wall type than in previous view. And here we would need to place different type of details in wall panels because we have L-shape and T-shape connections between these walls. I will select all walls and I will use just one configuration for all these walls and with a single configuration we will add different connection types in these walls. It's important to mention that you can place families according to your company standards and it doesn't matter if you work in Europe or United States and your standards are different, you all can use the tool because everything is set in configurations. So now you see that we have L-shape and T-shape connections modeled, we have cuts and different loops inside. Another important thing is, after you model with our tools, you can easily modify connections manually. For example, I want to add some connections. And the best thing is that I don't need to manually update these walls. I just update by configuration and the wall above recognizes changes that were made in the wall below. And the tool does all manual work for us. 
So smart connections can be used not only for walls but for beams and columns as well. Here I have some concrete beams and columns as an example. Now you see that these beams do not have supports. So I will select all columns in the view and with a single configuration I will insert corbels. It took just a couple of moments and beams are now supported. But what if I change beam size? I will make it a bit bigger and now I need to select all columns that I want to update and I just update by configuration. And updating multiple element connections we will always be secure that corbels or any other structural connection will be at accurate level and we don't need to open any additional views or move families. And it's very efficient if corbels must be at a different heights. Another cool thing with smart connections is that you can insert elements by gravity point. I will add some lifting inserts for the beams. And this is very useful when working with prefab elements because every prefab element must contain lifting inserts. So to get these elements ready for production, we need to add rebars and AGACAD has tools that allow to add reinforcement to walls, beams and columns. Let's add some rebars to the beams in the view. And the workflow is very simple. I just select beam, I create configuration and I need to link configuration to beam type. And I can choose one of three sections. I can add reinforcement to rectangular, L-shape and inverted T-shape beams. And I just choose configuration. And now I will select all beams that I want to reinforce and I create rebar. And it took just a second and we have top and bottom rebars and stirrups inside. But what if I want to change beam size? Let's make it bigger, let's move corbel down and we don't have to manually update the rebars inside, we just update the rebar and tool automatically recognizes a new shape of beam. So let's add some reinforcement into columns. And the workflow is the same, we just select a column, we link configuration to a column type and we can add reinforcement to rectangular or round columns. And we just press create rebar. And the best thing is that with the tool you can even add reinforcement to the corbels. And it recognizes geometry and adds rebars according to configurations. Now let's add some rebars into the walls. Let's go to another view. The workflow is very straightforward. We just select wall. We link configuration to wall type and we select all walls that we want to reinforce. And wall reinforcement tool lets you create rebars for solid, double and sandwich walls in Revit. And this process could save up to 90% of manual work. And it recognizes the shape of wall panel and distributes rebars according to configurations. But what if I make some changes? For example, I will add doors in this wall panel. And here I will add window. I don't have to manually update rebars in these walls. I just press update rebar. And tool automatically detects new geometry and place rebars accordingly. 
and Revit users who have tried manual reinforced elements in Revit painfully know that even a small change in geometry can cause hours of extra work, so the tool could help you to save that time. As you can see, we have different rebar shapes. We have U-shape and L-shape. And all information such as cover from different wall faces, bar size, quantity and shapes can be predefined in settings. We saw how quickly we can increase productivity in modeling with our precast concrete modeling tools. And you not only save time in splitting walls, but also reduce the risk of mistakes while placing connections and reinforcement in different type of elements in Revit. And it's easy to update your model only with one click, which makes you stress-free in design process. And you can increase efficiency after each project, as configurations can be reused on future projects and collected into a library. And since we reduce the time spent on modeling, you can use it on other phases of the project that are more relevant for the company. Another issue that we face working with Revit is data accuracy. And once we have modeled the building, it goes without saying that wall panels need to be identified with project-related information. And this is necessary for documentation and construction works. But that can be quite a time-consuming task to do in native Revit, because Revit itself does not provide marks or project-related information and it has to be entered manually. And in the example on the right you see how slow the process is. Let's go back to 3D view. Okay, I will close all unnecessary views. On the right side we have a wall list and it's obvious that none of these walls contain mark. And I will mark elements using sort mark which can number or mark Revit elements by predefined configuration. And I will select just one wall in the view. And with sort mark configuration, I will number walls. And here in configuration window, I can group, filter, number, and sort walls by any available parameter in project. So it took me just a second, and 208 walls were marked. Mark parameter now indicates the level that wall belongs to wall type function and wall number. And I will select all walls that are supposed to be in the first floor and 3D view shows that this information is accurate. But what if I want to split some walls into smaller wall panels and I will use this Revit feature because it doesn't have to be accurate at this moment. So now list indicates that these new walls do not contain mark. I will select one wall and with the same mark configuration uh, I can mark new walls and I have this ability to preserve used numbers. So new walls are now marked. Let's go and see if this information is updated. Sort mark allows to number any Revit element. And let's go to another list. And here in this list we have wall connection details, but it's hard to know which wall is the host to these connections. With sort mark I will use configuration which will add information about the host. So within a couple of seconds 534 elements are marked and in the table we can see that information about host is dated. Precast concrete tools help you dealing with several element parameters instantly. 
We have updated Walmarks and hosted connections instance parameters in seconds. Plugin eliminates stress when you need to renumber elements after any changes are made. And as I have mentioned earlier, it can number not only structural elements, but can be used for any element in the project, so all Revit users could find benefits from plugin. We have already talked about modeling and data management, now let's proceed with documentation. Detailing building design requires many hours of work, especially for structural projects that require a high level of detail. And preparing shop drawings often accounts for at least half the total project preparation time. And Revit users would agree that they spend lots of time on manual tasks like dimensioning, tagging, placing views on sheets. That's why automating documentation process has always been a critical need for construction industry experts. Let's go back to Revit. So for a model like this, we would need to make a shop drawings for each different wall panel, column, or beam in the project. And Nate Revit has this feature to create assemblies, and let's create one manually. But let's go to another view where we have a closer look to the walls. I will select wall and I will create assembly. I have to name it first. And then I have to manually add connections, but I have to be very careful and not to pick connections from other walls. And working with Revit, you can create views for assembly. But the thing is that you have to manually measure and tag elements in these views, and you have to manually place them on sheets. So let's go back to this 3D view, and I would like to introduce you to our tool called Smart Assemblies, which overcomes limitations of Revit functionality. Let's create one assembly using this tool. While we are waiting, tool automatically creates views, adds dimensions to these views, and it detects all hosted elements and adds them to assembly automatically. And we don't even need to create a name for assembly because smart connections will use mark value for that. And let's go and see what we have. So we have 3D view, elevation views, a couple of schedules, and we have a sheet. Let's go to the sheet and let's place views on this sheet. And the best thing is that we only need to do it once, because once we are finished, we can use the sheet as a template for our further shop tickets. And I will add a legend from Project Browser. Connections are measured and we have notes for each connection and you can even use different dimension style or have more colors. Okay, let's go back to 3D view and now let's create one assembly. But this time in configuration window, we will use the sheet that we just created as a template. And in configuration window, you can add as many views as you want. You can use native Revit view templates. You can add dimensioning rules and tagging rules. So in a couple of seconds, we will have another assembly, but at this time, all views will be placed according to the template. And we can have any number of legends, schedules, and sheets that come from native Revit design process. And tool automatically picks them from project browser and adds to assembly. The views are now placed in the exact positions and we have material takeoff, we have embed object list and elements are measured according to rules and configurations. This plugin is great for shop tickets, but can be automated 
drafting even more? And the answer is yes. We have smart views in this collection and shortly I will introduce you to a couple of its features. Let's go to wall pan view. Here I would need to dimension walls. And if I would do that manually, it would take some time and when I have intersecting dimensions, I need to move them out manually. And I want to introduce you to ability to automate this process. We can do that with smart dimensions and I will choose configuration for wall. And within a couple of seconds, walls are measured and tool even recognizes dimensions that intersect and moves them out. Another great thing is that we can automatically tag elements in view. And I will use configuration for wall plan. Tags now indicate wall mark and they can be placed horizontally or vertically or they can be rotated by element. Let's go to another view where we will use different dimensioning and tagging rules. So in this view I want to measure columns, so I will use configuration for column plan. And as you can see we have dimension lines on top and on the right side of the view. And let's use column tag configuration. Tags are moved out from the column and they even contain a leader line. Using smart views you can dimension and tag elements in many different ways. One of the coolest features from smart views is that this tool allows to create views. Let's go back to assembly view. And in the example you will see how quickly we can create elevation view for these walls. I choose option create multi-element views. And then I pick boundaries. I want to see elevation from this wall to this wall and I will select one in the middle. I choose configuration for wall elevation. I need to name it. And then by selecting this wall, I'm choosing front side of this view. And this feature not only creates view, but measures and tags elements in the view. You see that walls are measured and they contain mark parameter. And again, you can use different dimension and tagging rules for each view. And lastly, I will show you another ability to cut time in half. Plugin has this option to distribute views on sheets. And I will open configuration for general arrangement drawings. And I will select views that I want to distribute on sheet. And tool automatically creates as many sheets as needed to place all these selected views. So in configuration we can set sheet template, we can give a name, and we can set distances from sheet sides so views wouldn't overlap the frame. If using native Revit tools just seems like a waste of time doing the same steps over and over again, precast concrete tools get your project documentation ready at least two times faster. And you are sure that you won't miss any important information. This automation is very helpful because it removes stress from Revit users and helps to save lots of time. Some takeaways from today's webinar. You've seen how easy it is to model prefab elements and that detail connections don't cause any headaches, even with unexpected changes. And not only you can save time in modeling, but in drafting as well. 
and you get additional time to focus on more important tasks or you can take on more projects. Because configurations that you create can be used for future projects and they can be shared with your colleagues. And if you're familiar with the problems that I have mentioned during this webinar, I think this collection of tools could help you to reduce the amount of manual work that you are struggling with. And to make this possible, visit our webpage and download a free trial. Or if you would like, we can arrange a short meeting with one of our specialists and we can talk about challenges and needs and discuss options to improve your work. Also, always feel free to reach out to us at info at ajcat.com. Thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you in future webinars. Have a good day. AGA CAD, building BIM together.